Hey, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Something Fishy. We're at it again. We're gonna be fishing and camping at Stinson Beach. We won't go too detailed on our adventure this time, but mostly just the fishing. All right. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Let's do this. So some fellow fishermen last week when I was here was saying that out here you really need to be using sand crabs or bigger lures to catch these bigger fish and the sandworms really get the smaller fish so we brought some bigger hooks and some some lures and we're gonna try that out this time we'll be putting sand crabs on this rod and then we'll be casting some lures with this rod and we'll try to make it happen get some bigger fish some decent sized fish all right so here's the lures i'm gonna be throwing i got these uh, blanks and these are my own paint jobs. This is what I call tequila sunrise. This will probably be better at night uh, This is like a tribal style like Benito or Something like that. <laughs> it really doesn't have anything to look like and there's the standard red and white I'll Probably throw that guy first. Maybe this guy. We'll see what happens All right, so we're down by the water. There's no one out here. There's like 10 people on the beach last weekend the parking lot was completely full and there's people parking in the middle of the lanes like in single file today there was under 10 cars parked so they're scared of the wind it's pretty windy today it's supposed to be like gusting the 20 miles an hour so we'll see the fishing might really suck or it might be really good i don't know we'll check it out i'm not gonna give up all right, so our rods are rigged, ready to go. Let's get out there. I brought two rod holders this time. Yeah. I've never actually fished all the way down the bottom here, the edge, the end, whatever you want to call it, where the rocks are. But, you know, I always, I'm always a little bit down there and this place fills up right here pretty fast with a bunch of people. So I thought I'd give it a try and actually get down here to this part. Maybe it's better fishing. We're gonna grab us some sand crabs. Looks like there is some sand crab action. Let's see. I just want to go digging for no reason. Let's actually dig where one's at, like right here. Let's see. Missed him. Missed him. Last week I was finding so many on each each dig. I don't have one of those sand crab rakes. You know, I I thought I seen something that said that those are banned, but I can't find it again. <laughs> Ooh, it is cold today. That breeze is no fun. This water's gonna be freezing, I already know that. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. You know, barefoot like we do it. That's the way I rock. Oh, there we go. Ah, thought it was a crab as a rock. This is kind of rocky over here. I don't know if this is good for sand crabs. Oh, there's one. Nope, that's a rock. There's one, little guy. Good enough though. There's another one. They're kind of small, but maybe they're all right. We'll give them a try. So, can sand crabs get you? I was holding those two and one that I was holding in my palm gave me a sharp little, little sting. I wonder if that was his little little scooper if they have a little point on it to get you because that was alarming I'll tell you that it was quite alarming i got the two ounce on today i'm gonna try to not break my rod with it that was a lousy cast but i was really trying not to stress my rod out Right, 
that's in there. Yeah, let's drop this down. <laughs> that was a really good bite. That was awesome. My rod bent down about a foot and a half, two feet. I have to say that was my first bite on a crab. I've never actually had a bite with a sand crab before. So maybe we're in the right place, the right bait. Might actually do something. Oh, bite. Oh, an osprey with the fish. Freaking awesome. That osprey had a fish. <laughs> the osprey's doing good. It looked like a little striped bass. At least it was that shape. What are you doing, buddy? He almost dropped it. Here we go. <laughs> He's trying to ditch those crows chasing him. Oh, shoot. I got something big. <laughs> Hopefully it's still on. Yep, it's on. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a big plant. But there was some huge... Oh, yeah, I got something decent. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Look at this beast. Look at this beast. <laughs> oh. That's my biggest right there. That's my biggest bard. Wow, nice. That's a keeper, we're keeping it. We're gonna fry up this guy today. There we go. There we go. We got a good one. Beautiful fish, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, little buddy, big buddy. <laughs> all right i was just going back to my uh bag real quick and i turn around and this thing is hammered down yeah look at that beauty it's looking good too healthy perfect look at you all right we got some dinner all i can find is this big one I've been using kind of small ones and getting bites, so if we're gonna put this big guy on, maybe we'll get a bigger bite. Oh, uh, my hook ain't big enough. Eh, we'll see. This is a size two. All right, let's give that a try. Well, the ocean's full of debris and the bite is just about turned completely off. So we're gonna walk this way a couple hundred feet and try over here. Look at this! <laughs> Check this out! Something ate the back half of my sand crab. My huge sand crab. I'm assuming that was a big ass perch. That's cool. All right, we're catching nothing but debris. No bites in the last three hours. <laughs> and the current's really moving this way cast in with a two ounce even and it starts cooking right away and uh, right now I have about 25 minutes to catch the bus to head up to camp so we're gonna get going probably gonna fillet my fish real quick so that's all prepared and then we get to camp we'll fry it up for dinner I need some Braid cutters, right? Jeez.
we got our barred surf perch ready to go. It's filleted, deboned, sliced up, de-skinned, ready to go. We're going to be using a corn flour seasoned with garlic, pepper, and salt. couple pieces in here at a time. I don't want to cool my oil down too much. Push with all this wind. Hear that? Crazy. Crazy wind. It was 20 mile an hour winds on the coast today when I was fishing and then it was with uh, 26 mile an hour gusts. It's pretty crazy. I didn't see one other fisherman out there the whole day. cooked all the way. It's not brown. Hmm. Oh. That's all right. So far I like red tail better. This is my first time having bark. No, second time. Last week when we had bard as well. On a barbecue. Which was way tastier. We're probably gonna barbecue it again next time. Definitely barbecued's better. Barbecue with the seasoning on it, eating the whole fish, I like that much better than filleting it and frying it. It is good, but it's way better barbecued. Way better. All right, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. So I see this in almost every campsite I've ever been in. People always leave their, their, their steaks to the tent. This one has like 10 of them. <laughs> They're everywhere. There's a trick to pulling them out. You use your tent to do it. You grab the strings or the fasteners that connect to it and you pull them voila very simple it's too easy come on people all right good morning we're gonna pack up camp and head down back to Stenson Beach and try to do some more fishing all right let's go all right we're rigged up and ready to go Let's go see what this uh, the weather has in store for us. I can hear the wind, and there's a cool breeze, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was yesterday. I hope we'll have better luck today. Oh, that sun feels good. Last night was freezing. Oh my gosh. I was not prepared for how cold the wind chill was going to make it. I was cold all night. I ended up having to fill my water bottle with hot water putting it in my sleeping bag <laughs> good thing I have a little bit of survival skill to help because wow it was it was cold so we're going to be uh, tossing out a high low two ounce sand weight and some two aught hooks we're going to go look for some sand crabs and get those on the hooks because uh, we want those big fish today. We've got about four hours to fish before I need to get out of here. So let's make it happen. It must be a better day for fishing. We already see six other fishermen. So yeah, hopefully we'll get better on the bites today. Only had a few good bites and one fish, so let's do better. But you know, across the board, yesterday was a, a really bad day. A lot of the, the Facebook groups I'm in, everyone was like, oh, too windy to fish. No one even tried, it seemed. And I was the only one here all day yesterday fishing. So, that I've seen, at least. Maybe some people came earlier before I left, or before I got here, because I got here like around 9.30, 10. Let's set up. 
dig us some sand crabs. Hello, little guys. You guys getting them crabs or what? I think that's what they're going for. Maybe there's shrimp or something also. A little mud shrimp or sand shrimp or some shit. I don't know my shrimps. Ghost shrimp. I think that's the one you can dig out of the sand. We're going to do a crab and a sandworm just to get going. And then we'll search for more crabs. While we wait. Oh yeah, I found this hat blowing down the beach. I, uh... In the direction it was coming from, there was no one there, so I think maybe it was a an old one. Not an old one, but it was sitting here all night, possibly. Let's see how it fits. That's nice. Very nice. It's got a nice brim on it. It's better than those other. I got a couple couple other boonie hats. <laughs> so we was like a thirty dollar purchase. So I just that was the cost of me getting here and camping overnight. So that that paid off itself. Cool. Always down for a free hat. Like on South Park. Well, not that kind of free hat. We ain't doing this kind of free hat. We got one on. Oh. Oh, yeah. There we go. First fish of the day. Oh. Was he just biting? I don't feel no kicking anymore. This could just be small though. There were tiny little, oh, no, that's a fish on there. There were tiny little crabs. Oh yeah, there's something on there. Oh, he's fighting pretty good. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Oh. He's not small. <laughs> yeah. What's up, buddy? We're not gonna keep them though. It's one of those uh barless bard. There we go. Look at that beauty. Boom boom boom. Not bad. What's up, little buddy? Definitely a keeper if I was going to be keeping him, but we're going to let him go. Thank you for, for the fun, my friend. You have a good day. I have just too long of a, a bus ride and everything to get him home. Oh, you're going the wrong way, bud. There he goes. Cool. Sand crabs, even the small sand, that was a tiny little sand crab. While well, the other fishermen are packing up and getting ready to leave, I got about half an hour before I gotta get on the bus and head home. So we're probably gonna do the same thing. Maybe try to get some food from the little snack shop they got here. I see some fish and chips and some burgers they have available. All right, so thanks for joining me on this episode of Something Fishy. We got two decent fish, that's pretty cool. And we did some camping, we always love camping. All right, if you enjoyed it, please like it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. All right, I'll catch you on the next one, peace.